the main gear retracts inwards, the nose gear retracts aft. The main gear inboard doors and the nose gear aft doors are separately sequenced and close after the gear has retracted or extended. The landing gear selector is in the lower left corner of the main dash panel. Three indicators provide the normal landing gear indication. All out when the gear is up and locked and the doors closed. Three reds when the gear is unlocked. And three greens when the gear is down and locked and the doors closed. A flashing UC indicator illuminates when the airspeed falls below 100 knots and the gear is not down and locked. Once the gear is selected down, and locked with the doors closed, the indicator will stop flashing. The forward selector lever is connected by a cable to the rear cockpit selector lever. A second cable connects the rear cockpit selector lever to the landing gear selector valve in the hydraulics bay. A solenoid lock controlled by the weight switches prevents the front selector lever from being selected up on the ground. The ground up enable switch bypasses the weight switches, energizing the solenoid lock to allow the lever to be selected up. is held in the down position by the locking brace and the drag link. A ground lock safety pin fits through the connection between the locking brace and the drag link. The retraction actuator operates the down lock and the uplock via push-pull rods. The down lock is a hook locking the locking brace to the drag link. Let us look at the operation of the downlock. Let us now look at the uplock. Note the uplock hook being moved into position before the gear travels.
The outboard doors are operated from the main gear leg by two push-pull rods. The inboard doors are operated by two hydraulic jacks. The left main gear leg operates a push-pull teleflex cable to operate the step. Note the step travel stop. The wit switch micro switches operate various aircraft electrical circuits from their ground to flight conditions. On the locking brace is the down lock micro switch. The up lock micro switch is in the gear bay. Together with the door micro switch, these three micro switches control the landing gear indication. The three red and green lights. And the undercarriage flashing indicator. This leg is held down by the primary brace and drag link, held down by the secondary brace and drag link, which in turn is held down by the retraction actuator. The ground lock safety pin fits through the primary drag link. The downlock and its micro switch are inside the retraction actuator. The uplock is operated by a push pull rod, and its micro switch is beside the hook in the nose wheel bay. A roller on the primary brace engages with the uplock hook when the gear is retracted. The forward doors are operated by push-pull rods from the nose leg. The aft doors are operated by push-pull rods from a single hydraulic jack. Let us look at the nose gear in operation.
and again from another angle. The nose wheel steering is operated by push-pull rods from the rudder pedestal. These connect to the backup bell crank, which is inside the nose wheel bay. This in turn connects with rollers on the top of the nose leg. A tube takes the motion down inside the leg to the steering cuff. A shimmy damper is fitted to the steering cuff. Scissors then take the motion down to the nose wheel fork, giving 20 degrees left and right travel. A quick disconnect mechanism allows the nose wheel to be turned to much greater angles for hanger manoeuvring. The quick disconnect plunger is lifted using the quick disconnect lever and a pip pin. The steering is reconnected by removing the lever and pip pin. Be careful to check that the plunger has re-engaged with the steering cuff. A roller in the nose wheel bay ensures that the nose wheel steering is central when the gear is retracted. And a micro switch on the scissors is connected to the witch switch circuit. If the gear fails to extend during normal down, the standby down system may be used. The standby system is selected by a lever at the aft end of the left side panel. The lever in the front cockpit is connected by a Teleflex cable to the lever in the aft cockpit. The aft cockpit lever has a gate, preventing it from being moved forward after it has been selected. The aft cockpit lever moves a short push-pull rod to open the valve. 
The standby down valve uses fluid from the emergency gear accumulator just aft of the baggage bay. When standby down is selected, the doors and the gear legs move together and the doors will remain open. A microswitch on the standby down selector lever bypasses the doors microswitches to provide normal indication of three greens and the flashing undercarriage indicator out, even though the doors remain open.